Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at a watch from AliExpress and as you all know AliExpress sells tons of watches from brands from Pagani Design all the way up to San Martin and beyond. Well today's watch comes from the Mercure Watch Group and this is a dress watch which I think has a unique way of displaying the time and is done in a very vintage fashion. I think it looks really nice. Now are there a few things that I'm kind of like, well, maybe I would do it differently. But enough talk, let's take a look at the watch. Okay, so here we have the watch we'll be looking at today from the Mercure Watch Group. Now, I did say it was a dress watch, right? I'm pretty sure I did. but. This is how I received it in this really nice camo case. Now the case itself is really nice and tough, but let's go ahead and let's take a look at the watch inside, shall we? All right, so let me open that up there and here we have the watch we'll be looking at today. This is the Pierre Paulin Jump Hour. Now one of the things you're gonna notice right away is it does not have a hour hand, yep. So the hour is actually in that display window right at the 12 o'clock and you just have a running minute hand and of course at the six o'clock you have the running second hand. So really interesting watch. The dial design looks really great and uh, overall really nice looking watch. So let's go ahead and get into the specs of this watch real quick and then we'll come back to the actual watch and do a little more discussion. So. You have a 38 millimeter stainless steel case with 47 millimeters on the lug to lug. And these are drilled lugs. So that's really nice if you are using uh, watch straps that are not quick release. You also have a 14 millimeter case height. So that's really good. So it stands pretty high. This is a domed crystal. And speaking of the crystal, the crystal is a K1 mineral from what they tell me on their website or a hard lex or something like that. Um, you do have a 20 millimeter lug width, so it does fit a ton of different watch straps, which is really nice. Uh, the water resistance on this guy is 50 meters. And this is all powered by the Seagull ST17. So really nice looking watch. So here we have we're going to take a little bit closer look. Let me move this out of the way here for us. So you can take a look at that. That looks really nice. You got a signed crown, signed crown right there. Really nice. Um, it is basically a push pull, no screw down on this guy. And uh, it is an automatic, so we do have the wind. Uh, I think overall the brushing on the case is really nice. You can see the drilled lugs right there. Looks really nice. I like the stepped bezel that le leads into the crystal. That looks super, really nice. Really super nice. I like that. Um, the case overall, really nice finishing. Super good. I like it. The uh, crown's real easy to grip and manipulate. Now, let's take a look at the case back. This one kind of was a little weird. Uh, so, yeah, here's the case back. So, it kind of makes me wonder, is this all they had laying around for the case back for this watch? I'm not sure. Uh, I've seen on others where it's the Mercure lion head, which, you know, that makes more sense, but give peace a chance. Although I really do appreciate the message and I really think the message resonates. I, um, not sure how it works on this watch. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's continue on. Uh, you do have the straps here. The, this is the supplied leather strap that it comes with. And I will tell you, it looks like some kind of a rubber coated strap overall. I am not a fan of this strap, not one bit. Um, it is nice and it is signed in the back. It says Mercur Watch Group, I believe. Um, so they do come as quick release, which is nice. Like I said, they have the drilled lugs. So I think overall this is really good. So let's take a look at the actual dial of the watch in a little bit more detail. So looking at the dial, you can see it gives off a very vintage 1930s, 1940s type of a feel. Very nicely done. I just think overall, great looking watch. The 
dial a little bit closer look you'll see the font for the numerals on the minute track very nice the guilloche on the inner dial that straight line engraving also just leans really hard into that very vintage 30s 40s vibe the breguet hand at the minute and the second really nice looking they are blued hands really just punches up that vintage dress watch feel the hour window at the 12 o'clock could be a little bit bigger but i think overall it's very well executed and it does follow the font of the minute tracker as well so overall i think really nice let's take a look at the movement now okay so let's take a look at this movement now this is the seagull st17 now it looks really nice some pretty decent finishing you've got some geneva striping on it i think it looks really good i think they should have probably used an exit case back with this movement but here are the quick specs this is a 20 joule movement so 21,600 beats per hour 3 Hertz movement and approximately 40 hours on the power reserve there is no hacking and it is an automatic movement so Overall, I think it's really nice. Uh, like I said, the Geneva striping looks really good. But I really think they should have gone with an exhibition case back here. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Pierre Paul and Jump Hour? I think it's a really nice watch. Overall, I think it's a really great looking, very unique way of presenting the time. I just think it's overall really good especially for the price that they're asking for it. I do think there are some missed opportunities they could have done better and really elevated the watch. So let me cover those first. First of all, the packaging. Um, I just think the packaging should have just been a plain black case. I really think that would have set the tone for the watch that was inside because that is something that a buyer looks at and that a buyer sees. So when they get that package and they open it up and they see it's a camouflage case versus maybe just a plain black case, I think that really starts confusing the buyer and it maybe starts making them think, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. That's the first point. The second point was the jump hour window. I really think it could have been just a little bit larger. As I was mentioning, in the uh, review maybe think kind of like how you see the date window big date windows displayed maybe that jump hour window could have been just a little bit larger make it a little more legible for reading and finally the case back again this just kind of goes along with the packaging of the watch the case back just didn't seem to fit the watch itself so again you get the feeling that they just kind of threw this together, put it in a box and sent it out to the buyer. I really think in this case, they should have gone with a engraved case back, but personally, I think an exhibition case back would have been better, especially since this is a decorated movement in the back. You have that Geneva striping on it, which I think is a really nice touch. And I think overall that's those missed opportunities in general, which I really think could have elevated that watch and really made it stand out. Now, what were the things that I really did like about this watch? I really like that dial design, that guilloche with the straight line edging out to, from the inner dial all the way out to the outer track, really nice. I think the printing on the dial was really good. I just really liked it. The Breguet Minute Hand, Really, really good touch. Super nice touch. And the small seconds at the six o'clock, again, another nice touch. Just really adds to that vintage feel overall. The blued hands, the blued minute and the blued second hand, really, really nice. It pops off really well against that white, white dial. And I really like the drilled lugs. I think that's Maybe a small thing, but I think that's a very important thing, especially if you have watch straps that are not quick release. So I think drilled lugs are really important for something like that. So overall, I think this is a good bargain. I think this is a good deal on a watch. There are some areas I just think needed some improvement to really elevate it. But I'd like to know what you all think about the Pierre Paulin Jump Hour. So leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this watch. And maybe is the price too much? Is it too little? What do you think? And if you can think of some other watches that kind of fit in this vintage dress watch category, you know, 
Baltany is a good example or any of these other AliExpress brands, let me know too. I'd really like to hear from you. And if you are looking for other watches from AliExpress, I do have those listed over here for you to take a look at. Now, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again.